Hey, you, what it do? It's your boy, Rob Does It All, coming to you live and direct from the world's northernmost town. That's a uh, long European Svalbard, Norway. We got good news today, and the good news is that, yes, Lindsay, reindeer treats are still 25 cents. Today's topic is going to be the first time I went to sauna in Norway, Norwegian sauna. First time ever. This just happened. Oh, my gosh. Right. Now I've been, you know, I've been, I've been to a sauna like in a swimming pool, community center, you know. Uh, whew. But it's a little bit different in Norway, right? So look, my boy Ilya's right. Ilya's cool dude. He's half French, half Moroccan, right? And uh, he hit me up. Be like, "Yo, you want to go to the sauna?" He hit me up talking about you want to go to the sauna like tomorrow, right? So I was like, you know, all right. You know, we'll do it, we'll do it, right? So, then the more I be thinking about it, it's like, man. So, like, in, in Europe, the sauna is like, you go into the sauna, and you sit there until you can't stand it no more, your body temperature get crazy hot, and then you go jump into some frigid water. <laughs> oh, man, no, nah, man, nah, hold on, hold on. Now, while I like the cold, I don't necessarily like being cold. I just like being in the cold, but, like, warm in the cold. That makes sense, right? And when it comes to the sauna, it's like, I've seen, there's a YouTube channel called Kara and Nate, and they go everywhere all around the world, right? So if you type in Kara and Nate anywhere, you'll see a video. And they got one where they went to Finland. They did, they the Finnish people. Now they, the Finnish people be about their sauna life, right? So it looked cool, but for me, the sauna is like, I felt like it would be something that would be cool like to say I did, but I don't actually want to do it. I just want to say I've done it. <laughs> that even makes sense. Because to be able to say you've done something, you have to do it, right? I'm just like, ah, oh, the idea of the sauna is a lot better than... And it's water cold. It's, it's, we're in the northern of the world. We're in Svalbard, man. We're by the North Pole. It's like negative, negative 15, negative 20, like... Regularly, you know what I mean? Like, it's like negative 10 degrees outside. And you're talking about when you get in the water, now not just go to the water, but get in the water. Oh man, but you know what? I was thinking, right? And I was like, Yo, I am Rob, does it all right? So I gotta, you know, I just gotta say yes, you know, just say yes, say yes to new experiences and new things, right? So I'm like, Okay. Oh, the next day comes, he hits me up in the morning, Elias, he's like, yo, all right, you know, it's tonight, it's, or it's, I mean, it's not, it's not ever nighttime here, but you know what I mean, it's going to be at like, uh, eight, like, like me, it's at 830, so meet us, you know, whatever, around eight, a little bit after eight, right, so I'm like, I see the message, I was up all night, you know, doing some of my website, my blog, robdoesitall.com, you know, go check that out, so I was doing some stuff, and I'm like, man, I kind of slept all day. I'm like, I don't really want to go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to go, but I don't want to go. You know what I mean? So, I'm like going back and forth. He's messaging me. I'm not writing back. I'm looking at him. But, man, I'm like, man, I feel like I'm at the ghost this dude. <laughs> I should just be straight up and say, you know. But really, look, this is what it was. I was scared, man. I was scared. It's going to be cold. So, I'm like, you know what? I say, fuck, man. I'm going to go, right? So, all right. He said, bring your swim trunks and, you know, swimsuit, swim trunks and a towel and, you know, meet us. So I go the right time. We walk there together. And I'm like, okay, all right. We, we had the sauna, you know, all right, whatever. It was like, I think there was probably nine of us, maybe uh, 11. No, no, it wasn't no 11. Whatever it was, it was three girls and like six. I think it was nine. It was three girls, six guys, right? And so when we get there, you know, now we got to change. We got to change in the swimsuits, you know. So I'm like, okay, you know. Now it's cold here. We in the Arctic. We in the north, north, north Arctic, right? We on the Vince Stable, north, north Arctic, right? So I got my swim trunks, everything. I pull them on my bag, you know. I see everybody getting undressed, you know. We like, there's no dress room. It's just like, whoo, we just all right here, boy. It's love, right? It's just all love. I'm like, okay, okay. So I see you dudes, you know, but... Chicks, they getting undressed, you know, butt cheeks flying. Okay, all right. So, you know, I get undressed. Then I go to put on my shorts, right? 
as I'm got one leg in my shorts, I'm looking because I'm right in front of the door to the sauna. And a dude walked by me, he completely naked, right? I'm like, wait, wait, oh, hold on, right? And then the two girls walk by and they completely naked. And I'm like, oh, whoa. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not trying to be a creep. I ain't trying to be a weirdo. I'm just a man, all right? I'm just a man. And I'm an American man at that. So, you know, I'm not used to just women walking by me naked. You know, I'm not like Hugh Hefner or somebody. I'm not used to just, you know, just say everything out. You know, I'm like, whoo, man. So now I'm looking at it like, damn, this is like the social norm. You know, when you find social settings, this is why you're supposed to be sociable. So you see what other people do and you know what's going on. Right? So I'm like, am I supposed to be naked too? <laughs> I'm like, oh no. Now I'm like, now I'm getting self-conscious. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know what? Quarantine hit me kind of hard. You know, I got, I need to lose a couple kilos. You know what I'm saying? Man, if I, I manscape down there, you know, I'm single right now. I don't really, you know, got nothing going on. Oh no. <laughs> it's terrible, right? Terrible. So I'm like, man, okay. I guess, you know, I'm don't get, you know, everybody else, nigga, I gotta be naked, right? So I'm like, okay, going there, you know, sitting there naked, you know, I'm also self-conscious, you know, because I'm a black man, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm a black man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show off for my people, man, you know, I, it's a cold outside, you know, it's, you know, I don't want somebody to just be their first impression of a black man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's hard times right now, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh no, oh no, right? But anyway... I get past all that, and I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's having conversations in there, you know, you got beautiful women around you, they completely naked, and you try and talk to them, and they have conversations, we, we, you know, we chilling, you know, I'm trying to make sure I keep my eyes up, you know, eye to eye, you know, I just don't want to be disrespectful, but at the same time, I'm like, whew, whew, Lord Jesus, please give me the willpower <laughs> so that I just be a normal guy, because you know, this is just a natural body. We, we all just got natural bodies with the Lord. This is our birthday suit. This is what the Lord gave us here. You know, um, it's nothing to be, yeah, yeah, I, I could do this, you know. Well, you know, everybody's cool. They're my friends, you know. And I'm like, woo, woo, right? <laughs> so, look, my man, Elliot. Elliot was the only person that didn't didn't go in there naked. He had shorts on the whole time, right? <laughs> he had his swim trunks on. And every day, they, they was judging him. They was judging him for real. They was like, really, bro? Like, you just gonna have your swim trunks on? Like, wow. Do you come to sauna with your swim trunks on? I mean, who comes to sauna with their swim trunks on? Only a guy like you would come to sauna with their swim trunks on. I'm just like, whew, see, if I had had mine on, we both be getting made fun of. So that's why I got my trunks off. I'm naked. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, baby. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm making fun too. I'm with them. <laughs> right? So we in there and it's hot. You'd be like, it was like 74 degrees Celsius, you know, seven. Yeah, it was like 165 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hot, sweating. They got, they got the rocks. We got the fire burning. The rocks on top. Uh, you know, get the little ladle. With the, you know, put the water and steam and everywhere. I'm like, oh my goodness, Whew. dying. Then you gotta get out, and then you go to the water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. So. The first round when people first went, I got, I was going to go and then I went outside and then because it was like six of us waiting to get in the water and get out, get in the water, get out, all my heat disappeared. And I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm not high enough for that now. See, I was when I first came out here, but now I'm not. So now I got to go. I got to go back. So I went back and I'm like, okay, sit for a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. And then when I got out there, I just went and let me tell you. It was cold. <laughs> it was cold. But, but, it was colder than I thought, but also not as cold as I thought, if that makes sense. If I had, you know, overall, it was very refreshing. I'll tell you what, very refreshing. I got in there, I got down to my knees, to my waist, to my neck, and then, whoo, whoo. It was cold, but I had a great time. 
And if you out there considering going to the sauna, you need to go. You need to check it out. And if you're American watching this, you ain't never done it before. You need to come to Europe. You need to do it. See, when I used to watch the videos, I thought it was insane. I, I, I just did it. And I, it's still, I feel like, not exactly normal. <laughs> but it's getting there in my mind. And if you just go and you get hot and you, you can get into the cold water and you could be in there. I mean, I was in there one time, like 20 seconds. <laughs> no, I feel like that was good for me. This is my first time. But yeah, we had another dude. He was swimming and everything, chilling. I was like, hey, listen, I kept holding on to that ladder. You know, I don't want to be away from that ladder because I need to know I could get back. I need to know I could pull myself back up. If all of a sudden I start falling out, I, 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 I got to pull myself up. I can't be way too far away in the water. And then, no, no, no. That's for like the second time or the third time when I'm a veteran. Right now, I was a rookie. So, you know, I'm trying to be safe. So, uh. Yeah, that's just that's just a crazy time. I'm telling you what, life on Svalbard is so interesting. It's just so much fun. There's just wild things to do. I Man, I grew up in Herndon, Virginia, right? I grew up in Herndon, Virginia, and then later I moved to Corvallis, Oregon. This is nuts to me. I'm in the North Arctic. You can't get more north than this. It's the North Pole is more north than this. I look out my window. I got mountains. I'm going to ice caves, glaciers snowmobiling everywhere man polar bears all type of walruses it's cool man it's cool but look that was the story of going to the sauna so i hope you guys all make it to the sauna and until the next time it's your boy rob does it all and i'm out